Hello and welcome. Today we will be discussing compound interest. Compound interest is interest that is paid not only on the initial principal of a loan or deposit, but also on the accumulated interest from previous periods of the loan or deposit. Basically, compound interest can be thought of as interest on interest. In order to properly understand how compound interest works, we must first understand what simple interest is. Simple interest is interest that is paid only on the initial principal of a loan or deposit and not on any interest that is earned during the term of the loan or deposit. Basically, simple interest is interest on principal and nothing else. In order to differentiate between simple and compound interest, consider the example of Daniel and Claire. Daniel and Claire each deposit $10,000 in high interest savings accounts. However, the bank that Daniel has deposited his money at offers only simple interest, while the bank that Claire has deposited her money at offers compound interest. After the first year, both Daniel and Claire have made $500 or 5% on their initial deposit. However, for all subsequent years, their return on investment or ROI will be different. Because Daniel's bank only offers simple interest, he will continue to make $500 or 5% of his principal investment of $10,000 each year. On the other hand, because Claire's bank offers compound interest, she will make 5% on not only her principal investment of $10,000, but also on her accumulated interest from previous periods. So in year two, Claire will earn 5% on both her principal as well as on the interest that she earned in year one, rather than 5% on only her principal deposit of $10,000. With this in mind, Claire will earn $525 in year two, bringing her total capital to $11,025. Meanwhile, Daniel will earn only $500 in year two, bringing his total capital to $11,000. So, after year two, Claire has made $25 more than Daniel, all without lifting a finger. In year three, Daniel will once again make $500 or 5% of his principal investment of $10,000 with simple interest, bringing his total capital to $11,500. Claire, on the other hand, will make 5% of $11,025 in year three for an annual return of $551.25 bringing her total capital to $11,576.25. So, after only two years, Claire has made $76.25 more than Daniel, all due to compound interest. While this may seem like an inconsequential amount of money, it is important to remember that the effects of compound interest increase over time. As we can see from this example, Claire's annual return on investment increased by $26.25 all the way from $525 to $551.25 just from year two to year three. And the effects of compound interest are even more profound when we compare Daniel and Claire's return on investment over a 10 year horizon, with Claire's annual return climbing from $500 all the way to approximately $775. In summary, simple interest is interest that is paid only on the initial principal of a loan or deposit. On the other hand, compound interest is interest that is paid on both the principal of a loan or deposit as well as on the interest that is accumulated from the loan or deposit. While in the short term, the difference in returns between simple and compound rates of interest is negligible, over the longer term, compound interest offers markedly better returns. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call or visit our website.